Today, I want to focus on Hengan, the Chinese sanitary products manufacturer listed in Hong Kong. We first wrote on the company a year ago when we commented on the rather unusual balance sheet and the exceptionally high margins. Since then, they've been attacked by a short seller and the stock's down 30%. Before we go on, I must point out that under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we can't make stock recommendations and none of the following should be considered investment advice. However, if you are thinking about investing in Hengan, I would strongly suggest you consider the following. Assessing the company using our normal governance, accounting and peer performance risk, we notice that 1. Under governance, it's a family controlled company. 6 of the 14 directors are related and there have been lots of related party transactions. Perhaps an equal concern is that the audit fees are much lower than we would expect, implying that the due diligence has not been as thorough as it could have been. Accounting risk. We have two areas of concern. The first is the balance sheet. We wonder why a company that's supposed to be so profitable and has cash on balance sheet needs to borrow so much money. Perhaps the cash doesn't exist. That's certainly been the case at other Chinese companies with similar balance sheets. The second area of concern is their profitability. Their margins are much, much higher than peers and possibly unrealistic. In fact, in the recent results, they came out and changed their accounting policy and cut 10% off their profit margin. We wonder how much of the rest is actually sustainable. Peer performance. Now, we've already mentioned the super high margins, but the real issue for us is that Hengan seems to have a growth problem. Over the last few years, it's barely managed to keep up with inflation, whereas Vinda, its closest Asian competitor, has been growing at about 17%. Yes, it is possible that they've been protecting margins by holding back on their growth. The problem is, if Vinda is going to be resurgent, this is unsustainable. In our best case scenario, margins and the company's multiples start to fall as the company competes with Vinda. In the worst case scenario, it's a fraud, the cash doesn't exist and the share price collapses. This has been a brief synopsis of our thoughts on Hengan. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Many thanks for your time.